What is up? It is day two. We're going to try this in CapCut so that we can maybe do some noise reduction. Day two update, though. Things that are going on. Make sure you hit that follow and get notified when we have videos, all the things. When we get to 1,000 followers, I can stream from my Twitch, from my OBS on my computer to TikTok, which would be kind of fun. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. But uh, it's a goal. That That's a goal that we have. Day two, we're driving to work. I was like, hey, let's do let's do some updates because I like them like other people do in the car. Today was a lower body day and my forearm actually, it's like hurting up here now in the middle. So it's less the insertion by the elbow, which is great. Perhaps that's healing, but I'll be off the arm for two days. And then on Thursday, so tomorrow I don't train. I don't train on Wednesdays. And then Thursday, hopefully when I'm doing push, when I'm doing some chest work and some back work, I can be very careful and not put any strain on my forearm. Otherwise, if I put any strain, I'm going to be done, done with that workout because it's not worth it trying to, trying to heal up. But I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I think I can, maybe I'll do like a before and after to the doctor. That'll be fun. We'll stitch it into one video or combine it into one video. Anyway, go to the doctor tomorrow. It's a natural path doctor. I wanted to go to a ND because I feel like the bedside manner. Last time I had a physical, all that they were trying to do was get me a flu shot. Wasn't really listening to what was going on and everything. They're just like, you got to have a flu shot. You got a flu shot. I don't care. You got a flu shot. I'm like, well, what about these other things? Ah, just have a flu shot and you'll be fine. I thought that was pretty dumb. I'm sure there's lots of great doctors out there, but I didn't have such a great experience. I wanted to find somebody who works with athletes, one, and is going to talk to me a little more holistically about my diet, my training, my methodologies, and any injuries that I have, and how we can deal with those. And I'm kind of excited about it. The one thing they can't do maybe is prescribe like a Adderall or Ritalin or whatever. Because I am going to mention like the ADHD stuff, which I feel like I'm high functioning ADHD. I come up with a lot of different mechanisms to be okay and get through the day, be able to be effective and still be productive while my brain is constantly like over there, over there, here, there, let's do this. Let's do that. A uh, new hobby. I'm curious because what they'll say too is diet and exercise and nutrition can be really helpful. And I'm like, I kind of have that dialed in. I'm feeling pretty good about all that stuff. What else could we do? I'm hopeful that there are some other things that we could try. At the end of the day, I would try pharmaceutical, whatever it would be, maybe some light dosages of something, just to just to help out. I I follow a couple people. Um, I follow one person, and my wife follows one person who he just went on something. I can't remember what it was. I'll have to look it up. And the help to him that it has been has been crazy to see. As he's described it, he's like, wow, is this how you guys think? Describing kind of the way that my brain goes and all over the place and picking up new things and not wanting to finish and looking for that dopamine hit to being able to work on something for an hour or longer or whatever and focus. Now, the challenge there, I think, is that you don't want to become dependent on pharmaceutical. How can you utilize that in an enhancement way or in a very spirit a specific way? Uh, periodized way that encourages you to be better and do better, but you don't become dependent on it. The other thing is that's difficult is that I think it's like Adderall or whatever is like speed. They're in the vein of like cocaine and cocaine is highly addictive. And for whatever reason, they don't have, like, here's a safe dose that we use medically, but you want to make sure that you're considering that when you're thinking of any drug or any pharmaceutical regimen that you could get dependent on it. If I don't want to be dependent on it, I would love to have it maybe as a resource to help me focus and maybe to help me train focus. I've been watching or listening to some Huberman Labs where he's talking about it, talking about ADHD and pharmacology and actually doing exercises when you have the medication to help you build those neural pathways that you need. And so I'm curious about investigating that more. I, I don't I don't have like a very specific protocol on what to do or how to do it from listening to that work, but I've still got a lot more podcasts to listen to, the Huberman podcast to figure that stuff out. Like, oh, two people drive or one, one person driving on their phone, the other person just on their phone. I'm on my phone, but I'm, I'm watching, talking. It's like you're talking on the phone. We got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. The leg day was great today. 
it's a deload, so a semi deload. I don't really need to deload the legs. With upper lower, we're just doing legs twice a week. I feel like there's plenty of time to recover. Maybe I could push even further. Pure bodybuilding from Jeff Nippard two. Pure bodybuilding two comes out in a couple days. I pre-purchased it. Uh, I'm on pure bodybuilding one, and probably the biggest just like thing that I dislike about pure bodybuilding one from Jeff Nippard is you don't have the big three. You don't have deadlifts. Uh, you don't have regular. You do have a little bit of bench, but you don't have regular bench. Uh, you don't have uh, low bar squats or so bench squats, deadlifts, and maybe what uh, overhead press. I, I don't do a lot of overhead press, but didn't have deadlifts in, in squats. Well, I'm kind of excited because pure bodybuilding too, you can switch those in and get the squats going, get the deadlifts going, slowing down. There's a car just trying to cause a car accident here. My goal maybe this year could be to get over 500 in the deadlift. Uh, I am in a maintenance slash mini, 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 mini bulk. It's just like a, a sloppy maintenance that I bulk a little bit. I gain a little bit of weight. But then I'm going to cut. But then after the cut, I will bulk again at the end of the year. I'm going to do kind of a proper bulk through winter. That'll be fun. But right now we're maintaining and then we're going to go into a cut. But the pure bodybuilding will allow us to add deadlifts and squats back in. So I'm super stoked about that. That'll be really fun. Got that going. Today I don't have any meetings. So that means get a lot of work done, ideally. Let's see if my brain will let me do it or if I'll get distracted. The tricks that I do are like, you turn off the phone, you put it aside, you turn off Slack, you don't check email. All right, now this guy's racing me. Speed up to get around somebody. And then they start going faster. Good job, guy. You're good at driving. Hopefully my brain will let me do it today. We'll see. We'll see if it works. I take it back. Let's be positive. Cognitive behavioral therapy. It's going to work. We're going to kick ass. It's going to be great. I'm going to work on, um, what is it? Video agency offering work which is exciting to me because I want something specific to sell instead of all custom all the time and because it's always specific projects, specific creative and, and new clients. And I want to reduce the amount of clients that we have to work with and increase the recurring work that we can do. And the recurring revenue is the goal. You're kind of simplifying and being able to dig in with a client. Uh, and for those who don't know, I'm a creative director at a marketing agency, a video, integrated video marketing agency. We're working through the language of some of this stuff too. A lot of kind of where we go falls to me. And then I have some partners who are awesome with uh, collaboration and working together. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. One of them specifically who works on implementation, which is cool, which is nice. But all right, that's going to be the update. I'm going to try to keep them under 10 minutes. We're at about nine and a half. Tomorrow, I'll do an update for the doctor, and then we'll be back to training the next day. Thanks for hanging. If you're enjoying, if you're vibing, if you want to get strong and healthy and stay healthy, please do hit that follow. I want to produce more content where we just talk about it, where we share our struggles, our uh, successes, all the things, and just be real about it. I want to take all the information too and just simplify it down for you so you don't have to work hard to find all the good information. That's what we got.